or this art show, I should say. So I'm glad to be a part of it, even if it's virtual this year. Um, so I can tell you a little bit about the projects we did, or I did with sixth and eighth graders this year. These are clay vessels created by sixth grade students. So for this project, we studied, we started out by studying Art Nouveau and Art Deco, those two movements in art. Students looked at a bunch of different examples and then um, brainstormed their own patterns and designs based on those art movements. We learned about how to build with slabs and how to slip and score and all of that stuff. Um, they built their vessel and then they designed it, um, it keeping their Art Nouveau and Art Deco patterns in mind. Um, and so these are the finished products. And then over here, we have, these are name noodles. Um, so students learn how to do lettering with their names. We talked about lots of different typography and lettering styles, and then they filled the backgrounds with zentangles or patterns of their choice. So that is how we did that particular project. You can see a pretty wide variety amidst all of the student works there. And then the next group of projects are um, a creature symmetry project. So students took a creature of their choice. It could be a bug, it could be a monster, it could be you know, a real life thing or a made up creature from their imagination. And they, um, they learned how to design it symmetrically, uh, including lots of detail and um, design work within the creature. We talked about blending with colored pencils. And then they created a unique watercolor background to coordinate with it. So those are the sixth grade works that I that my students shared with this show. And then moving on to eighth grade, on the bottom here we have a candy still life project. So students um, set up their own little still life using pieces of candy so they can draw from life and observe realistic details and values and colors. And then they chose, they used a medium, a dry medium of their choice, and um, tried to draw it as realistically as possible, and then added a background. So you can see there's quite a bit of variety among the students since they had um, some freedom with what kind of medium they chose. Um, then we have self portraits up there. So um, for those students took their own picture, either of themselves or they partnered up and took pictures of each other. And then this was a grid drawing method. So they placed a grid on their printed picture and then a grid on their photograph, or I'm sorry, on their paper. And then they drew it and added value and color eventually. And then the last set of pieces, starting in the corner, are um, a water watercolor zentangle project. So we focused on something nature-based. Um, I think we actually called it a nature doodle project. So they talked about we, they could choose an animal or a landscape or something inspired by nature. Um, they found a picture of it and drew it and then added, spent many, 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 many hours adding the Zentangle patterns that you see. And then they used watercolor to, um, to add color where they wanted it over the top. So there you go.